Hey guys, what's up? Tyler here with Geekster Labs, and today I'm bringing you guys my review of Mobile Go for Android. Mobile Go for Android is an all-in-one program that helps keep your phone organized and you can manage your phone all from your desktop. You can easily send text messages, manage and add videos or pictures, music, and much more. And so all you need to do on your phone is actually download the Mobile Go app and then you need to run the program on your computer. A QR code will show up within the program and then you'll need to take your phone with the Mobile Go app running, scan the QR code, and then it will easily connect the two devices. And so that's how you pretty much connect your phone and the computer. And so now let's take a look at the features that you actually get. On the top left, you can see you have a few online resources. The only one that I really see is important is the Google Play apps. And you can sign in the store, find an app, click install, and it installs it to your phone right from the client. It's very easy and it's very quick. Underneath that, you have your devices. And if you expand the drop down menu, you can see you have options to manage your apps, your music, videos, photos, contacts, SMS, files, and the toolkit. This makes it very easy to go and manage your photos, videos, and music, and to delete or import files if you would like to. Under contacts, you can search your contact database as well as easily add new contacts. And under SMS, you can actually send and receive SMS messages all from your computer. A nice feature that is included is that you can actually export all of your SMS messages as a file and back them up on your computer. You also get notifications on the bottom of your screen if you get an incoming text or phone call. Files is just a typical file manager. There's really nothing special about it, but the toolkit is where you actually have a lot of the nice features. One click backup is a great feature as well as installing apps and restoring a device. And clicking get root access doesn't actually root your phone, but instead takes you to a website that will guide you through the process. All of the other buttons are pretty self-explanatory and they are nice features to have, but honestly, the ones I use most are the backup and SMS sending and receiving. Now, I'm not the type of person to really use this software a lot, but what I've experienced so far is that it's pretty solid and it's a very reliable piece of software. But I do have a few issues with it though. And one thing is aesthetic, and it's that under my Google Nexus 5 name, you can see that you have a bunch of different icons for apps, SMS, music, and stuff like that. Those apps are actually iOS icons, and that really doesn't make sense to me. This is Mobile Go for Android. And so I would think that for an Android application for a, like a program, you would have icons that correspond with Android. And honestly, I think this is just kind of sloppy. It's not a deal breaker or anything. You can still use the program just fine, but it's just something that I noticed and it's just like, really? You have iOS icons, but this is a software for Android. And another issue that I've kind of noticed that really is an issue, it's just more like a bug, is that when you're using the SMS send feature, whenever you actually type out your message, press send, it will say delivering and it will continue to say delivering until you actually leave that message, go to something else, then come back, then it will say that it's actually sent. But the message actually does get sent very shortly after you press the send button on the program. But overall, Mobile Go for Android is a very nice piece of software. It's just not something that I would use every day. I'd much rather just pick up my phone and text somebody or install an app. But that's not to say that it's a bad piece of software. Like I said, it's good. And I'm sure somebody out there could use it much more than I can that likes doing those type of things from their computer. And so if this does interest you, I'll put a link to Wondershare's website down in the description below. This program is also available for Mac. Mobile Go for Android is actually available for Mac. And you can also download some programs that are for the iOS devices. You can't get as much features as you can with an Android device, such as sending and receiving text, but you can get some file managers and stuff like that for iOS devices. And you can do a free trial for a mobile go for Android before you actually have to pay for it. And so that's really all I have for this video. You guys can kind of see how mobile go for Android works. And so you can kind of be the judge for if you think it's worth the money or not. You can see the price on the website. It goes up and down. I think they're having a sale right now. It's right around 24 bucks, but I think it's usually a little bit more than that but I'm not the type of person to use it, so I really wouldn't consider it worth, worth the price for me, but you guys can be the judge for yourself. If you like this kind of program, you can visit the website and check it out. And so that's gonna do it for this review. Hopefully you guys did enjoy it, and if you did, click that thumbs up button. Also remember to subscribe to me for more videos in general, and check out all my social links that are all in the description below, and visit geeksterlabs.com for more tech news, reviews, and much more. And down in the comment section below, let me know what you think about mobile good for Android and whether or not this is something you would use on a daily basis. And so that's all I have for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video. It's a pretty reliable and, and solid piece of software. Um, I have a couple of you gonna use this type of software a lot, but what if, now I'm not the type of person to really use this kind of software a lot, but what, but, 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 but I can't speak the words.
Now, I'm not really the type of person to use this kind of software a lot, but what from what I've 